Okay. Okay. First up, um, we have in stock the Grove feathering. I think we announced this before the end of last year, and then people were on holiday. If you have Grove sensors and devices and you want to plug them into something that's a feather, you're in luck. We now have a feather window. They'll make it super easy. Uh, there are three ports that can give you analog inputs, A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. One UART, and then and the analog pins can also be digital, and then two I2C ports, plus there is a stomach UT port. Um, so this works with any feather that we've got. Um, you know, we don't necessarily have code for every Grove device, but Seed does uh, in Arduino. So as long as you're programming in Arduino or in MicroPython, uh, you're good to go. So a nice little mechanical adapter for a very popular uh, brand of accessories. Sure. Next up, we have an update to the Surface Transducer. For some reason, couldn't get these during the part shortage either, but now we have one. So a surface transducer, it's like a speaker, but it doesn't have a cone. Instead, you press it up against a surface and it'll turn that flat surface into a speaker. Um, so we've had these before, so check out the other demo videos for this product. And now it just mechanically looks a little different. It doesn't have wires soldered in, unfortunately. You'll have to solder your own wires, uh, but it does come with 3M tape on it so you can stick it onto your surface. It's a nice strong 3 watt uh, amplifier. Uh, Service transducer. Uh, next up, we have an update to the super large breadboard. Uh, this is the last board. This is the last breadboard that's getting premiumized. So we now get these with really high quality clips, so they don't like grab stuff and don't let go. They're nice and buttery smooth. Also, a nice uh, black silk screen instead of blue for the negative rail, which I like because it's red and black. It's the colors you expect. Um, otherwise, there's a gigantic breadboard, but definitely going to be more useful now that's premium because you can stick big um, chips in them and dev boards, and they're not going to bend the pins when you uh, try to push them in or pull them out. Okay, next up. Also, an update. This finally is back in stock. This is a really cool multi-voltage um, power adapter. And I just love that on the side you can select different voltages. So the big update, it used to be 3 4.5, 6, 7.5, 9, 12. Now it's 3, 5. Not 4.5, but 5, which honestly is a lot more I, useful. I need this. Like, I need this all the time. Yeah, it's like super useful. And it comes with all the plugs, positive and negative. So this is like, you know, I've got like a label printer that does like 9 volt next center negative. It's like, who has one of those kicking around, right? Uh, I like that you can fl flip it around between positive and center um, and then just slide on the side. Which volt did you want? Um, these are quite popular, and I'm yeah. glad they're back in stock. All right. Uh, also, we've got oh, yeah. motors. Um, this by request, somebody wanted a uh, double-ended motor. So this is a bimetal gear motor. So if you look here, see how some of the gears are metal and some are plastic? The high-torque gears are metal. The end of the gear train is metal, but the beginning of it is plastic. because It's a little lighter. Uh, less noisy. Um, plastic is less noisy than metal, um, but it still gives you that durability of metal for the high torque. It's a one to ninety gear ratio, so it's got a, it's like a higher torque TT motor. Um, using a lot of robotics, and now it's got uh, two ends, so you can have some. You know, you can have a uh, encoder on one end and a wheel on the other, or you have two wheels for some reason, what have you. Um, you're good to go with this bimetal high torque TT motor. Okay, solar panels. Solar panels. Um, so from Voltaic, they're you know they're going to try to get to us. Uh, they're bigger panels, but in the meantime, they're having some you know they're moving a factory and they there was I think a fire at one or something. I don't know, but uh, doesn't matter. We've got these beautiful small solar panels. We've got a two volt, uh, three watt, a five volt, three watt, and I think a five volt, six watt. So these are, uh, sorry, uh, this is okay. Let me read this. This is a. Yeah, this is a 0.7 watt, uh, a 0.3 watt. So it's 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and 0 0.7. They're small panels compared to the quarter you can see, but they're very durable. They've got this like nice plastic coating on them. Yeah, Voltaic makes it stuff. Yeah, they they make the real they make it the, the, the highest quality. I have a Voltaic uh, suitcase um, laptop bag. It still works. I think it's like. 15 20 years old it's awesome and it's just like and they have like the highest solar. quality so like these are not cheap solar cells these are like 22 percent efficiency yeah. solar cells so the two volt is not going to work with our lipo charger board i do mention that in the part description it's meant for people who are doing like um like power harvesting and stuff but the two other ones are five or six volt they will give you a voltage that you can use to charge a battery very slowly or if you have some electronics that's okay with a slightly higher voltage maybe there's a 
you know, regulator inside, uh, you could power it directly. I just thought these are nice, like little solar panels. Yeah. All right. And then the star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our customers, our team, our community, and everyone who shares and tries to uplift us all through knowledge and more is the Feather Sense. Well, but it's big, you know, expectations for this Feather Sense. Mm -hmm. uh, so this Feather Sense has been updated. It's back in stock. It's been out of stock for like over a year. It's been a little sad, but now we're happy again because we get to stock this one more time. This is our Feather with an NRF52840, uh, really powerful, but also very low power Bluetooth microcontroller that we have our Duino and CircuitPython support for. Uh, it's got packed full of sensors and a bunch of them were impossible to get to the part shortage and we finally got enough of them that we could get this board back in stock the only chip that had to be changed completely because it's completely discontinued is the accelerometer gyro um the lsm 6ds 33 no longer made so instead we have the lsm 6ds 3tr which is actually a slightly better chip anyways uh so we swapped that out uh, i still got all the other sensor the magnetometer the light color and proximity humidity Diametric pressure, temperature, uh, and uh, PDM microphone, um, all stuck on a board in feather format with some QSPY memory. It's like a lovely little board for sensing uh, and doing Bluetooth, a wireless sensor platform uh, for Bluetooth and low power usage. Uh, so check it out, back in stock, very excited. Alrighty, and that is... New, 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 new.